Hey guys, so welcome back to Tenchu Z. In the last episode, we took out a drug den, which was kind of interesting. A um, little bit more going on there than uh, meets the eye. We were hoping to catch something interesting happening, but apparently that was delayed. Anyway, we did unlock a whole load of new clothing, but most of it was shit apart from the new haircut. <laughs> but that's the way it goes, I suppose. Anyway, let's go grab ourselves a new mission. The Kodama leaf turns men into living corpses. We must find a way to combat it. So the Kodama leaf, yes, that's becoming some kind of epidemic uh, amongst our people, I suppose. So, kill the shameful monk, mission 10. Temple, assassinate Rinzet Rinzetsu the monk. Okay, a monk abusing his position for his own gain. We must punish him. Right, let's do this thing. We have orders to kill Rinzetsu, the monk. The Akawaran monk is kidnapping Goda women. We cannot tolerate this from a monk and cannot trust uh, Ogawara. We must find out how to pronounce that to take care of it Rinzuku must atone with his life for such violence from a man in his position yes kidnapping our women eh well that will certainly not go unpunished oh dear oh no oh he's got to die He's got to go. Right, well, Crimson here is having none of your bullshit. So, let's have a little look. We've been we've been on this map before, haven't we? Yes, so we're back to the temple. All right, so it looks like what have we got going on? Now, we... Ah, look at that. That's how our new hearing ability works. Brings up the map. I quite like that. Interesting. Doesn't have a super long range, but that's okay. It certainly has a long enough range. We can always go hide in a bush and, uh, you know, activate it back there. So, anything going on over here? I'm guessing that little cone. Not really a cone, is it? It's a circle. Uh, is our hearing range. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe the enemies are just sparsely. Yeah, I guess they're very sparsely positioned on this level. That's fine. See what we can find. Interesting to have an ability like this. I've actually forgotten about this one. Oof. Right. It is somewhat limited in use due to the fact that we cannot hear people if they're not moving. But, yeah. There has to be some kind of limitation to it, obviously. Now, we've got a monk just around there. He's not a monk, is he? He's a goit. Potentially a dead goit. Right. Nice. Can sneak in and take this guy out. Let's see if we... Okay. So he's seen a body. That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. We can handle him seeing a body. As long as he doesn't go alerting people. Now. So someone's moving away from us. I don't know if that guy in white. If he's potentially a threat. Alright, so we're clear this way. Now we know there's some more dudes on their way. We just have to be somewhat patient. Don't know where that pervert is either. Now where 
Okay. So now we're clear. This room is also empty. Which is just the way we like it. Hey, this room it looks nice. Full of bedding. Lovely. We can get all cozied up in there. Right, so there's a guard there. Might have to sort him out in a minute. So who's this guy? This guy just looks like an innocent. That's fine. Come here, Mr. Innocent. You have seen too much. Don't worry. We'll be gentle. Alright, let's just get rid of him for a minute. Good old non-lethal takedown. Don't know where this jackass is. Right, he's over the other side. He's coming back. Cool. Now, I'm pretty sure when those uh, enemies wake up, or the innocents wake up, they don't alert anything. So... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You've seen nothing, dude. Really? Wait, are you an innocent or not? Instructions unclear. He's kind of charging me. Instructions unclear. Cannot decide whether that guy's an innocent or not. He's definitely looking for me. Hmm. Now this goes against my better judgment, but maybe, just maybe, we need to take this guy out. Kind of don't want to. I'm not sure if those guys are enemies. Really not sure. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. Uh, but this area looks... This area looks... I mean, he was a cook, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was a cook, surely. Can't go killing a cook. No, nah, I'm not going to go kill those guys. I'm very confused as to whether they are enemies. But we'll give them the benefit of that for now. Alright, we're clear for now. Looks like there's some kind of thing there. Body disposal grid. All right, cool. Yeah, look, there's more of those guys. Are they enemies? There's too many of them here. Maybe we should kill one and see if it flags them up as an innocent. Don't know who you are, but you're definitely not an innocent, are you? Walking around with a big pointy stick like that. I don't think that's a fishing rod. I don't think that's a fishing rod, young man. I'll take it anyway. Just so we can uh, have a little look and see what you're going to poke me with. Yeah, these guys, these white guys, they look like uh, monks. But I think there's something a little bit more to them than that. Hmm. Might kill one. Just for research. So we know in future... I don't want to kill an innocent person, though. Because they don't seem to have, like, anything on their belts or anything. It would be rather tragic, wouldn't it, to kill this dude. But he's wearing, like, a fake... 
mosque or something. Uh, hmm. Don't know what to do with this chap. Well, the good news is, if we take them out like that, they do wake up. It's it's not uh, they're not under for the rest of the level, but they are under for a very very long time. It's at least uh you know, a few minutes. Right. Take out that archer next. That archer is next marked for death. Come on. Are you really going to just stand there all fucking day? Oh, places to go, mate. People to see. Nani? Nani? Hmm, I'm going to have to be quick while we duff this guy in. Definitely going to have to be quick. Right, let's drag this guy's ass out of here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. Alright, let's take this guy over into this corner. Now, we have to be a little bit careful because that guy is going to wake up at some point. But hopefully, it will be a decent amount of time. I should actually thumb through the manual of this game, maybe. Really. It probably has some interesting... Oh, look at that. I forgot the original Xbox did that. On the back of the box, you actually have, like, all of the um, buttons in a really nice, easy-to-use kind of uh, layout. I forgot the original Xbox games did that. It was something that they did, unique to them. It was always on the back of the manuals, you know. You just, if you had the manual next to you, you just turn it over and leave it on your desk. You know, kind of like what I'm doing now. And uh, you never have to worry about forgetting the buttons. You know, if I was good at gaming, or at least somewhat competent at this YouTube thing, uh, I probably would have done that. You know. But hey. You don't come here for competence. Okay, right. Guy's got a rather large stick. And we want that stick. We also want to move his ass out of here before he gets any smart ideas about being a bit of a wise guy. Oh, there's some luncher. Who's seeing me? Nobody's seeing me. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see shit, alright? Now that sounded like an innocent. Because remember, there's some innocent ladies here. Not crimson. She's not in. in, in she's not innocent. Im, im, yes, she's not innocent. She's seen some shit. And she's only just started her ninja. Ooh. Fuck me. That was almost a little bit close now, wasn't it? Right, okay. I think we're going to have to thin the herd out outside. Now, like I say, we can pick those women. Up, drag them around, knock them out. That's not an issue. As long as we don't kill them. I think they've had a torturous enough time as it is, to be honest. Right, let's wait for this douche nozzle to turn around. And we'll have him. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. That was as close as it gets. Uh oh. Something apparently is suspicious. Oh, it might be one of our friends waking up. That's okay. I don't think that blue uh, light matters. Oh. Hello. We've got some dude walking around with the lamp. That's fine. He's next. His neck is next on the cutting block. <sighs> is he going to come all the way around? He should come all the way around. Ah, look. There's something else there. It looks like a heel. Unfortunately, Crimson here seems to spend pretty much all of her money. All of her... Ah, hello. 
She spends... Ah! There's the Tom. Ooh. Come here, Tom. I'm sorry, dude. Actually, I'm not that sorry. You're a bit of a bad person. And you deserve that. Oh, God. He's sprayed gas. Sometimes they drop smoke bombs, I guess. Lel. I actually remember that now. Alright. That was totally not awkward at all. But at least he's dead. Now, if that lantern jerk can come back, we can finish him. And there's another lantern guy over there, and I think there's I think there's three guards here. Come on. Come to mummy. Right. Mummy's got ya. Mummy's got ya. Mummy's got ya. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. His lantern friend was spotting us, but he's decided he wants none of that. Probably wise. It will ensure that he lives at least a few minutes longer. Oh, no. Yeah, I was right. There was another guy. There's an archer. Okay. That archer. Needs to be sorted out. But let's go take this lantern guy first. La da do, la da da. Just another night full of murder. Nothing new for us. At least we've tied our hair back now. So we're not going to get bloody matty clogs of blood in our hair. So, you know, I mean, maybe, I don't, maybe she likes that, to be fair. Yeah, I don't judge. I wouldn't want to argue with her anyway. Let's put it that way. Quickest way to get a sword up your ass. Right, let's take you out. And there's a couple of guys down there. But I think the monk we need to sort out is in there. Which is fine. Although, there is somebody down there. Right, you. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. You snooze, you lose. You guys are fucking half asleep. Well, at least 80% asleep, really. Ah, oh, we missed the stealth kill. That's fine. That'll do. That'll do. This guy over here is alerted to our presence. Who is saying these words? Is it you? No. It is you. That's awkward. That's really awkward. Right. Bit of a rough spot here. Right, let's go do that chap in. We're going to have to come in behind him. There we go. Right. Now, if we could get out of here quickly before that other doofus sees us, that'd be great. See, any trouble when you're dragging enemies? Uh-oh. Uh... Who spotted me? Or should I say, who is suspicious of me? That was interesting. Ah. Because of you down there, you got a little bit too curious, didn't you? Well, chap, the trouble is... Uh... Um, dude? Dude? Okay. Not really sure to think about this chap. Uh, let's just leave him to his strange demonic ways. Eh, he's just dancing. He's fine. Now this guy over here. 
I don't like... I don't like this guy. He's wearing a silly hat. And that must be punished. Your hat has not been vetted and sanctioned by Goda. Therefore, it is contraband. And he's another one of these guys carrying one of these weird tickling sticks. That is also not allowed. This dude's just having a bit of a wonder. You know, it's pretty peaceful here under the night. Under the moonlight, you know. Pretty pretty. You know. There are definitely worse places that you could uh, be spending your first few your your final few hours. Oh god. Alright, let's do him in quick. He dropped something. What did you drop? All right, whatever he dropped, I don't know. Yeah, so I think it's those guys dressed in white that are doing the weird laughing. So we're going to stay away from them. Now. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting. We've got to try and kill the main evil guy. We can't go through there, so it's got to be in here. In the temple. Come on, you dirty pervert. Yeah, he's... Oh, dude, that's pretty fucking creepy, man. Hey, dude. Ha-ha! Oh, yes. Oh, satisfaction. Oh, yes. Oh, did that feel good for you too, dude? He had to go. Ninja 5. Uninjured. Boss stealth kill. Nice. Well, we're slowly building our gold back up. After that rather unfortunate business of blowing all of our cash on a load of clothes. Why would they call it plate? Plate clothing. It's not plate. What do you think of when you think of plate? You don't think of a weird boob tube type thing. Think of plate, proper, rock-hard, solid armor. Oh, no. <sighs> right. Anyway, that was that. Here's your next mission. So, when we come back... Oh, we've got to break through the checkpoint. That's going to be something, isn't it? Now, let's have a little look. What would we like for supplies? We haven't really used items and supplies, have we? Got 13 health items. Jeez, dude. We have some stink. Nice. Got a big old ball of stink that we can carry around in our pocket. Very cool. I like carrying big, you know, packages of stink around with me. Lovely. Right. Okay, guys. When we come back, we're going to move on with the next mission. This one has been fun. It's been nice to go back to the temple. Always like going to temples and executing uh, <laughs> large quantities of people. Can you say that on YouTube? I don't know. Um, I know temples don't like me because I was standing outside the cathedral working the other day uh, during the storm. And I almost got a massive great big tree, brun tree branch through the brain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that was fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.